Tonight at 11 with the nationwide push to end gun violence making its way to central Indiana. Good evening everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Donaldson and I'm Chelsea Helms. Today marks National Gun Violence Awareness Day. CBS 4's Jenny Dreisler brings us the message from advocates in Indianapolis and Carmel who are pledging for change. Dozens gathered on the canal in downtown Indianapolis Friday morning for the Moms Demand Action Wear Orange event, a nationwide campaign that aims to curb gun violence, something central Indiana is no stranger to. We're seeing it more and more each day. I'm so hopeful that we do not break another record in this city for 2024 as we did in 2023. And in Carmel, more people gathered near City Hall, decked out in orange. It's a color synonymous with the beginnings of the campaign itself. The Wear Orange movement all started after 15-year-old Hedaya Pendleton was shot and killed in Chicago in 2013. After her death, her friends wore orange in her honor and for others who have lost their lives to gun violence. Since then, the event grew into a nationwide campaign. The color, a very visible reminder that gun violence isn't welcome here. Orange is the color of peace and it's like it represents the, the value of the lives that are lost and the lives that are affected by gun violence. But perhaps some of the most powerful voices of the movement belong to those affected by it most. Like Fisher's resident Laura Shaley, who survived a mass shooting in the Fort Lauderdale airport in 2017. We have become desensitized because there are just so many instances like the one I lived now. It's like, oh yeah, only five people died. And I, it's, it's shocking that that's how we feel now, but it's just so common, but that doesn't make it okay. And while Shaylee was lucky she wasn't hurt, she hopes events like this will mean no one else will ever have to go through what she did again. So we need to keep remembering to be aware that we can be doing more to not make it normal. I know it's a slow moving ship, but I would just like to see one little step at a time. Jenny Dreisler, CBS 4 News.